when you know you, you know you met the right one. When you want to slap the shit out of him, but you don't. You know. Hi everyone, it's Blue. I'm going to be reacting to a Bill Burr um, clip. I think I'll be a good dad, though. You know. I do. <laughs> no, I analyze it. I don't. I actually finally come to the point. I want to have a kid, and I don't think it's that hard. I don't. Part of me really believes that. And the other part is I just like pissing off people with kids. You know, <laughs> whenever you say like that, oh, you have no idea how difficult it is. This is a great one to say. Well, I mean, I got a dog. I mean, you know, oh, how much? Dude, you yeah, can't even compare it to a dog. Yeah, I can. I just did, and I'll do it again. Mine's got four legs. Yours only has two. Go ahead. Yours bites someone and gets a timeout. Mine gets put down. Oh, Stakes are raised. That's a good point. No, I think I know. I think I know how to raise a kid. You know what it is? You just, you just play catch with them. I think that's the big deal, man. That's how you raise a kid. You play catch with them. You just talk about life. You distract them by throwing the ball. They don't even notice. You're filling their heads up with your theories. <laughs> right? <laughs> You don't do it the old school way, the way your parents used to. Sit down across from you. You want to tell me about your day? Anybody offer you any drugs? You learning about sex? You're like, dude, you're freaking me out. Ooh. Trying to eat a pop tart here, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Right, just taking the back. You play catch with them. That's it. You talk about life, right? What's that, son? Ah, we're not going to church today. F that. Yes. Ah, it's all a bunch of bullshit. God's everywhere, but I gotta go down there to see him, really? And he's mad at me down there and I owe you money? Go f yourself. <laughs> Just try not stupid. I'm so Ridiculous. Okay, it's in here, all right? It's not down, it's in here. They try to take it, it's, down, it's in here. You do something good, you feel good. You do something bad, you feel bad, you know? Unless you're like a sociopath and you don't feel sh you know? <laughs> Unless you got somebody duct taped upside down <laughs> no, in your no. apartment, you know? And, and if you do something like that, I want you to feel like you can come to me, you know? <laughs> yeah, come to me, confess all of that, we'll go down to the precinct, we'll tell them everything. Yeah, I'm gonna turn you in, this isn't f Dexter, what are you, are you mind? <laughs> There's some feel-good serial killer walking around, he only kills the, the bad people. <laughs> I want to play catch with them. Listen. I know your mother and I, we've been arguing a lot lately, all right? But I know, you know, you know I love her. I love her to death, okay? It's weird. I love her to death, but when I watch her eat toast, I just want to, I just want to choke her. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's like, it's the routine, right? Left, then the middle. Just, why don't you just fold it in half and f eat it? You know what I mean? It's unreal. You know? That's, that, that's when you know, you, you know, you met the right one. When you want to slap the shit out of him, but you don't. You know, you want to leave, but you don't. There's something about them. You just can't leave, right? So don't settle down till you meet one like that. That's, that's when you know. Till then, you know, put a condom on, you know, just bang as many as you can so you don't have a midlife crisis. That's what you do. Don't tell your mother I'm telling you. Oh, gosh. Shit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's my, uh, that's, that's my game plan. You know, I do have a dog. That doesn't count for anything. I've never understood that. You know, I love my dog, but uh, I've learned a lot being a dog owner, man. You know, any dog's a good dog unless you're a psycho. You know, I got a pit bull. It's still a great dog unless you're a psycho. And evidently, I'm a psycho because my dog has been a, just been a complete maniac over the last like six months you know oh it does sound like it's gonna be a new story so let me just comment on the playing catch with your kid amazing i feel like so far this entire skit is just like my spirit animal because he's saying just everything that i i just feel eternally i also thought it was so funny and very unexpected whenever he seems a little bit more wholesome moving in whatever and then he goes in on how he's like confessing to his child oh yeah i mean sometimes i want to like choke your mother whenever she eats toast and he literally complains about how this woman eats toast like why do you have to go in on the left side right side then down the middle why don't you just fold it and eat it and it made me think of this time that i usually get lectured by a lot of people so i'm probably gonna see some lectures in the comments but i imagine him getting mad at like me because i pour my cereal i pour my cereal second i pour my milk first 
And I just imagine that because people always get on to me for that. That's like a pet peeve for people on how I eat my freaking cereal. It like really bothers people how others eat. So I can actually imagine him getting really mad at her. She's leaning in the kitchen. She's just eating it and his hair just lights on fire. Um, so I did think that that part was really funny too because it's like the little things and the little details that he points out that are really comedic in my opinion because you don't think of them but then they're really relatable whenever he brings them up and I think that's really great. And evidently I'm a psycho because my dog has been a, just been a complete maniac over the last like six months, you know? You know what? Awareness. I didn't realize that dogs feed off your vibes, you know? Like if you're chilling, they're chilling, you know? If you're sleeping, they're sleeping. But if you're a psycho like me and you're screaming at the ref on TV being like, dude, you got to be kidding me. I didn't realize the dog was over in the corner being like, yeah, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> this is bullshit. I don't know what this guy's mad at, but I love this guy. <laughs> this guy sees me. Is it the door? Are you mad at the door? That's my dog. Yeah, I had no idea I was amping this dog up. I'm so selfishly in my own world. I'd be like on the computer and would crash and go, oh, really? Really? Dog's over in the corner with like a chew toy. <laughs> <laughs> I never noticed like that game seven look she was getting on her face. And one day I amped her up too much, had no clue. And I went outside. We were just walking down the street <gasps> and some poor bastard comes the other way. And the dog's like, that's that mother. <laughs> yeah! Oh, no. Lunge at this guy. I had to pull her back. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. She's never done anything like that, right? Looking down at the dog, what's wrong with you? Dog's looking up at me like, huh? I got that son of a bitch, didn't I? I love you, you feed me, I got you. Yes. How the hell did you see him that far away, man? Your ears must be better than mine, it's unbelievable. Right? <laughs> then I got nervous. I got nervous around my own dog. I started thinking, are pit bulls really like this? Do they just go psycho? Man, this is nuts, right? That's another bad vibe to have around your dog because they pick up on that vibe, right? This dude comes walking down the street and I immediately just start thinking like, oh, she gonna do it again? Oh sh! Oh sh! Dog just looks at me like, oh sh! What? Oh sh! What? Him? 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 Ah! Oh, you guy. Yes. Pull it back, Jesus Christ! I'm sorry. Looking down at the dog. Dog's trying to chest bump me and sh! Right? Oh my gosh. Dude, it got so bad one day. She almost, she almost ate a landscaper. Right? Oh. Yeah. So I'm like, I gotta, I gotta take this thing to a trainer, man. So I load it up in the Prius and I drive over there. Right? In the Prius. Yeah, I have a Prius. Go ahead, judge me. I love that shit. If you have a Prius, people, you know, you can't win. I thought you got a truck with a big joke. lift kit. People, oh, it's probably because he has a little dick. Right? How come it's not because he has, has a dick down to the floor? Maybe that's why he needs all that clearance. Right? <laughs> you know? Oh my gosh, these are so cute and funny. I think he's moving on from kids to dog to the car now, so let me talk about the dog. That part was even more enjoyable because a little bit more relatable because I have a dog and I have children. Um, but yeah, if you're like with most dogs that I've known, maybe not all, I have had a senior dog and she didn't really hear or like see what was going on for a lot of the part. But my dog that's pretty agile and he, aware now, um, he picks up on things that I do and how I feel. And yeah, he's on it. So um, I've been trying to teach him how to speak recently and now I know that every time I say speak or I get hyped up or I pretend to bark at him now he just always thinks that he's supposed to do that because I've played with him too much that way and I can't even blame him for it because it was my fault and I like overtrained him of like barking. Wilbur is just so expressive and really comfortable with his body language and how he gestures that like he really puts you in the situation not only like I spoke about before but he literally becomes other characters even in this situation as the dog you imagine him going back and forth between him walking the dog on leash and the dog that's being walked by him on the leash when he's looking up at him for that approval and like yeah him oh he, him and you really believe like you're watching it because he's so great at it seems like acting I mean, he's been in a few movies, but there's so many layers upon layers of talent that he has with making you feel comfortable, making you believe the characters that he's portraying, very clearly explaining the situation he's explaining, and then still being funny. If that means you have a little then if I have a Prius, doesn't that mean I have a huge dick, right? Because according to my friends, it means I'm a right? Anyways. Let me towel off here for a moment. So I take this dog down to this trainer, right? And I show up, got the dog in the back. The trainer comes out, he's got his hat on backwards, he got stubble, you know, big, large cargo pants, you know. 
all shorts on and stuff. And I'm thinking, this guy's a psycho, right? And I look at my dog. My dog's like sizing him up. I'm like, this is perfect. He can handle him. So the guy goes, all right, when you hand this dog to me, make sure you got the leash totally taut like that, all right? Don't have any slack in it. I said, no problem, right? And somehow I f***ed up. I left a little slack in it. And this dog just lunged right at the dude's ball, all right? And just barely missed him and just got a big mouthful of his big cargo shorts, right? And immediately just grabs it and goes, all right, get out of here, get out of here, right? But instinctually, I tried to help out. And he just goes, get the f*** out of here! Yeah, I didn't realize that the only reason why the dog was acting like that was because I was there and it felt like it needed to protect me. So the second I left, the situation immediately just became awkward, right? The dog was just sitting there like... Okay, like, I thought we were, like, together, and uh, we were, like, friends, and you were some bad guy, and all of a sudden, you just drove away, and I don't know how to feed myself. Do you want to be friends? <laughs> yeah, I come back four days later, the dog's laying at the guy's feet, right? <gasps> He's rubbing her belly. She's reaching up, playing with his goatee and sh And he goes, go ahead, have a, have a seat. Why don't you, uh, why don't you uh, take me through your day with this dog? Uh-oh. Immediately, about to I started be getting, like, this first 48 vibe, right? Like they're coming at me. So I got like defensive. I'm like, what do you mean? I take it for a hike every morning. He goes, that's good. That's good. Anything, you know, special happen on the hike? I'm like, well, you know, I don't know. She takes a sh. I pick it up. It's like, all right, easy. <laughs> you play any games with her? I go, yeah, at the end of the hike. I let her, I let her, you know, for reward for going on the hike, I let her run up the stairs by herself. I go, go on, Cleo. I let her run up the stairs, and I count five, 1,000, and then I run up there, and then we start wrestling. Put her in a headlock, sweep her front legs, ah, right? Oh, he's about to But her tail's me. wagging, you know? She's not growling. I go, that's a good thing, right? He's like, no, it's horrible. I'm like, why? He goes, you just taught your dog to claim the house and then fight for it every day after the hike. <sighs> no wonder this thing's trying to attack the mailman, you know? So then I got upset. I'm like, wait a minute, dude. You're telling me like I can't even play with my dog? He's like, no, you can play with it, but you got to bring that energy back down. The problem is, is you keep amping this thing up, getting that Mike Singletary look on his face. <laughs> then by the time you walk out, doesn't matter if you're relaxed. Mentally, the dog is like walking through the tunnel at the Rose Bowl like, this is what we play for. <laughs> somebody hit somebody. <laughs> yeah, so I'm actually learning to control my temper because of a pit bull. Oh darn it, it's over. Oh, I don't even want to talk about the Prius, like the dog was so enjoyable. Um, but whenever he did first mention the Prius, the reason why I was kind of like, oh Prius, because I actually thought he was going to rag on it like every other person in society and comedic relief thing, SNL, family guy, everything. I mean, everybody forever. I mean, wasn't Brian like made, of, made fun of for even driving a Prius? Most people are made fun of. The hell is this? It's my car. It's a Prius. I feel like we're literally driving around in a vagina. You all know by now, if you've been following me for a while, I love Bill Burr and I cannot get enough of him. I These honestly are probably some of my favorite reaction videos because I genuinely really, really enjoy them. I'm a huge fan. And yeah, I hope that you guys are too. Make sure you like and subscribe and go check out all my links down below. And um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye -bye.